So, good morning, everybody. It's Jillian. Um, yeah, I just uh, ordered my my personal books that I get free from my package of my publishing package, and so that'll come in a couple weeks. Um, the ebook, the ebook will be available in a, in a week or so. Uh, Barnes and Noble already has it up. The Amazon is still getting prepared to put it up. Right now it's unavailable until they get their printers and all that stuff figured out. And so that takes a minute. But Barnes & Noble actually beat Amazon. So anyways, um, I, you know, this, this is just now a stepping stone to implementing something that is going to be completely different than what you have been doing and also giving you some insight on everything that you may have read in the conspiracy world, in all of politics, religion, and science. And some people don't know what kind of tracks they're laying, okay? And so when you understand the tracks that you're laying down, the groundwork that you're laying down, when you realize that's what you're laying down and the end result's going to be a faster realization to your intentions, even though you don't know that your intention is coming out, it's going to come out in something that's going to be opposite of your expectation. Retracking the way you, <laughs> the way you, I don't know, retracking everything is, is that's the hard thing is, is when people don't know, that's the hard thing is how do you, how do you, how do you um how do you know if what you're doing is correct how do you know if what you're doing is going to lay down a different track and you feel the energy and you support it and the energy that you've been feeling is now being supported in a different way and and that's hard to i don't know it's a hard concept because when you when you lay down a different track but the energy is the same, then you're like, well, how do I know if I'm doing something different and how I know it's going to come out correct? It's because you'll be doing some behavioral changes. That's what it comes down to. It's not enough to just change your belief system. You literally have to change your lifestyle and you have to actually do behavioral, physical behavioral changes. That is not taking something rebranded and applying in the same way, in the same method. And so, and so the whole Jilly Juice world, the whole Jilly Juice world is about laying down different behaviors, different ways of doing things and having an end result be completely different. And so the, uh, the, the ebook, everything is, everything is going to be available pretty soon. And so, and now, and then now with whatever royalties I get from this book will then go towards my next book and that's one more year of, of that's one more year of of writing and putting together something and so there'll be two books on the market and so by 2025 there should be the full version and so this Facebook account is going to show the path of my dog and myself and also more information that will compound and support this current book. Because we are in an evolutionary, we're in an evolutionary stage right now, major evolutionary stage, and it's a building process. This is a building process that even you, you're building yourself. I'm building myself. And so, and it's, I mean, you think about it, it's worth exploring, especially when you're seeing people out there dying suddenly and they're blaming it on everything under the sun. And when people are dying suddenly and they're blaming it on everything under the sun, then you have to realize that you, you don't know really who's at fault, what's at fault. You just know that now you have to do something different if you want to have a different outcome. And that does take a little bit of, uh, <laughs> that takes a more than a little bit. That takes a lot of commitment and so yeah so anyways 
I'm gonna go do my thing because I'm just like right now really chill. Um, yesterday I talked a lot, and so that's enough. But I want you to know that the ebook will be available in about a week, and the you know Barnes Noble and other stuff have have it. You know, so if you get discounts, here's the thing. So if, if I'm sure Barnes Noble, and I've never bought through Barnes and Noble, but if you buy through Barnes and Noble and you get discounts. Go through whatever is the cheapest. You don't have to go through Balboa. I mean, they say if I buy my books at a discounted rate, okay, because I get a discount and I sell them for whatever price and I get the most bang for my buck. Well, at this point, I'm not really worried about it. Maybe in the uh, in the future, I might sign the book and send it out to, and, and do that. But right now, I'm just laying the groundwork. Right now, I'm not too worried about marketing it at this point. I'm just laying the groundwork. I'm letting it, I'm going to let it just sit there, you know, on the different sites that people read it and say what they want to say about it. I don't care what people say about it. I mean, as far as bad reviews, I mean, I appreciate any good reviews. Um, any bad reviews I'll just take, you know, as it comes and find ways to modify if, it's, if there is constructive criticism, which is fine. But right now I'm going to let things just kind of marinate. I'm gonna let the book marinate out there in the world and then this next book um, will support that book because there is more to the story there's a lot more to the story but right now you have to get the introduction that you are Hydra and that you are trainable and also you can reverse the outcome of what's going on um, and you also have to release the trapped damaged hydra that are within you that is causing will potentially cause issues and that you don't have to die suddenly or even die at all but you have to find a way to fit in that transition process you have to kind of know what you're in for so you can still do everything that you want to do right now and while you are still accomplishing your goals of the old world you can still accomplish the old goals of the old world and transition to the new world and still accomplish your goals as you transition into the new world. But you have to fit in the time. You have to fit it in. Because right now what people want to do is they're trying to get everything done and get all their goals accomplished without changing themselves and they don't fulfill their accomplishments because they don't, they die suddenly. Okay. And you don't know who it is. And so then you have to start taking some kind of accountability on how you're going to start preempting the release process so you can fit in more information because you'll get more information from your friends and family. Microbially, you'll get it on the internet intellectually. And so if you're already at the surface of, at the capacity of the innovation within your body, mind and spirit, you don't want to have that situation happen where you don't have a time to redirect a situation. Okay, but if you ever get, if you ever get diagnosed, let's say you're just working feverishly and you don't see a reason to preempt anything because you're riding on the, on the innovation, on the energy, and you do get a diagnosis, that's when you really have to start pulling out the programming, eating all food with no discrimination, pulling out the programming, activate your immune system, and you're going to have to feel everything that you ever ran away from. You're going to have to go back to square one in feeling the things that you've ever taken some kind of anti-inflammatory against. And that could have been a cold way back in 1995. That could have been a bruise way back in 1996 that you may have to revisit. Okay. And so once you trigger your system to get a diagnosable condition, that's when your body says, okay, now it's time to be aggressive in pulling out the old programming and start acclimating to the new environment. And so that's essentially what my the book right now is giving you that groundwork to lay. Because eventually some of you will either die suddenly or you will contract an aggressive type of situation that you can come back from. Because now you understand what it's going to take. Okay? And so this is just a book for you when you're ready to embark on that journey. And that's essentially what... what this book is. It's not saying that you should do it now 
or even do it later. It's, it's a choice that when something is diagnosed that you have another option aside from what's out there. So, all right, I'm going to do my thing. My dog is sleeping. She pooped a little bit in her sleep, but not too much. Um, I did feed her a little bit of the food. Um, she still has a hard time eating on her own, so I did give her a little bit of the bottle. She was fine with it. But um, I'll, let her, I'll let her relax for a minute because we're in uncharted territory now. Now that she did, now that her body released so much of the brown poop, um, and it smelled like all the pasty poops the last couple, you know, days, last couple of weeks. Now we'll, we'll see, you know, where we're going to go from here. And I'll still keep encouraged. I'll still, and I'll see if, when I keep feeding her the, the liquid formula, plus then her, her adult food, I'll see if she has any more diarrhea. And so diarrhea is a body anxiously needing to get rid of some of the colony forming units in the body. And so you don't want to ever stop diarrhea. You let it just do what it has to do. And so, you know, I, I gave her a bath this morning before I talked to my publishing consultant, I gave her a bath, fed her, and and now she's she's sleeping peacefully, you can see. She's sleeping peacefully right there. Very peaceful. Okay, so this next book will be about my journey with my dog and with both with myself and then how else we're going to characterize the hydra because they are the memories and that you have to get rid of something that's eating your memories like a pac-man when you have pac-man eating your memories you have to then feed pac-man food so it's not snacking on you and all the memories and everything that you've ever known to survive as well as your profession all right you guys have a good day and good luck Good luck, because you're going to need it. This environment is insanely aggressive. All right, bye.